Effective Gestures, Do's, Don'ts, and Gesture Exercises. What is a gesture? A gesture is a movement that you make with a part of your body, especially your hands, to express emotion or information. Make sure to get your gestures up above your waist. Full gestures that keep our attention should be waist level and higher as seen here. The highlighted areas below are where you as a listener will generally focus your attention. As you look into their eyes, you'll also notice their hands. Look at what happens when the gestures are too low. When staring at the speaker's eyes, your eyes are pulled away by low or restricted gestures. So what are a few options for different types of gestures? Some speakers might use common gestures of recognized expressions, model information to help demonstrate something, signify with gestures to emphasize an idea, command and instruct the audience with hand gestures. Below, you will see what the speaker might be saying while using such a gesture. Gestures can be where your hand is palm up or palm down. Palm up gestures can be invitational, inclusive, signifying. Palm down gestures can be assertive, forceful, cautionary, and advisory. How far from your body should gestures extend? Sweeping gestures are more illustrative, commanding, attention-grabbing. Use them sparingly. Gestures in your torso area are also perfectly acceptable. In fact, reserve your sweeping gestures for big and powerful ideas. You don't always have to be moving both of your hands. Sometimes, you will be holding a note card with one hand while gesturing with the other. Sometimes, only one hand will be up and gesturing. It is even okay to let your hands drop to your sides when you're not gesturing. In fact, your hands don't truly fall to your sides. Notice how when the speaker's arms are relaxed, their hands fall slightly in front of them near their lap. It is also okay to let your hands drop to your sides, but do not keep them there. They should be loose and relaxed. Rest them there until it's time for another gesture. When you're using your visuals, gesture towards key details. Point to your visual aid images. Draw attention to key details. Extend gestures over the visual. Use your hand like it's a laser pointer. Gesturing is not too difficult to learn, but several body positions can restrict your ability to gesture effectively. The superhero pose. The military position. The hair toucher. The crossed arms. The hand washer. The wandering touch. The finger puller. The fig leaf. Avoid all of these positions as they restrict your hands.
Notice how each gesture below complements the content of the message. You or a loved one might need to know this important information. Did you know that men are two times more likely to die from this disease than women? Be super careful. Hippos can be extremely dangerous, so do not approach them in the wild. Let's try doing three gestures. An upward palm, a full sweeping gesture with both hands, and a downward palm. In a moment, you will do all three gestures in a row, while saying phrases that accompany each gesture. But first, take a few seconds to stand up and practice each gesture without saying anything. How did that feel? A little awkward? Relax. It won't when we are gesturing and talking at the same time. You are going to perform all three gestures while reading a sample preview statement of a speech about acne, or pimples. The preview statement is found in the introduction of a speech, and it previews the titles of the speaker's three main points. Are you ready? Let's go. If able, stand up. Take your arms and hold them out in front of you. Let them drop. Once they fall, notice that they are not stuck to your sides. They should be relaxed. Get ready to read each sentence and gesture at the same time. Well done! Let's do it one more time without pausing in between. Congratulations! You did it! Produced by Franklin Reynolds, Professor of Communication Studies. Note, the images of speakers are from Microsoft PowerPoint stock images.